Okay, good morning. We are going to make a meat. It's called a millionaire pie. Now, if you want to, that's just what it's always been called. Not that the ingredients are so expensive. It's just that um, that's what it's always been called. Now, I um, the first thing you do, we're going to get our crust. And I'm going to make two pies. So I get my butter, put it in the microwave. Don't forget to put a top on it. Because Papa has learned Mama's not happy when there's not a top on it. So, okay. Couple of minutes, it'll, it'll go. We can put our butter back up. I like to stick it in the refrigerator. Okay, now, the pie, y'all seen this before. This book, it's my recipe book that I made, and I'm in the process of another one. And what this is, it's just the recipes that my children grew up with when they were at home that I made a lot for them and I just put it in a book and they use it. And this is the, the recipe that I'm making. I'll tell you as I go what's what's in it and what we'll how, what we'll use. Okay. For millionaire pie, the first thing we do is melt our butter. Let's see if it's melted. It is melted. Almost, see? What I do first is let me get a smaller bowl and measure our graham cracker crumbs. Most time I guess, but since I'm showing y'all how to do it, I'm going to measure it. Now it calls for a cup and a half Nope, cup and a fourth of graham cracker crumbs. Get my measuring. And let's do just that. This is the new one opened up, so I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to measure two and a half because that one and a fourth is what it takes but I'm doing it for two pies. So I'm gonna do two and a half. I've been wanting to make this and I was not, I was hesitant to make it because I'm not like my husband. I don't like being on camera. He does, it don't matter to him how he's dressed or what the deal is, but he's He's ready. That's what he's ready to do. Okay. Now, it's also going to take sugar. It says a fourth a cup of sugar, so it's going to be a half a cup. Let me get my sugar. I have a little cup over there, but it's not going to be quite enough. So, I keep my sugar in these big old lock and locks containers from QBC. Had it for years. Okay, it took, it said, let me make sure. Yep, that's what it says. A fourth a cup, so that's a half a cup. Put that in there. And it says to add one third, which I did two thirds. Now we stir it up. Let me get this all stirred up and I'll get back with you. Okay, I think I've about got this mixed up. I'm gonna pour it. Looks like I'm real close to y'all, but at least you can see. 
I'm gonna pour this over in here. I got the second one. Kind of even it out a little bit. That's what makes it so good. Okay, we're done with that one. Now I'm gonna take my hands and smash it a little bit. Okay. Now let's do this. I'll do this one. I'll be back. Okay, we got both of them done now. I'm going to take them and put them in the refrigerator till I get the other mixed up for it to kind of give it a little bit of hardening to do, firming it up a little bit for it to hold. You don't have to do that, but since I hadn't got the other made up just yet, that's, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now it's, we do our, inside, let's see, I'm looking for my can opener. Okay. We start out with the condensed milk. That's what makes it so good. I like them pop top kit cans, but I'm using the off brand, the cheaper. And it don't do it, so we do it. Okay. Okay, we got our fruit cocktail. Mike got it with the extra cherry, so I like cherries, so that, that sounds good. Okay. Fruit cocktail, now I'll tell you what I like to use also. I like to use the um, crushed pineapples because I'm a crushed pineapple woman. I love the crushed pineapples. Here's the Eagle Brand Milk. Off brands I had checked the date on it. I, I wasn't sure because those were a little bit darker, but it's that off brand. Either way, it's fine. The date was fine. Stir it. Now, I'm going to add Cool Whip. It says put a large thing of Coob Whip in. And this is a large. There you go. Stir it up in here with it until you get it all stirred up. And you see it's all mixed up. It's a little bit soupy, which that's what you want is being soupy like that. You got your fruit cocktail and your Eagle Brand. Then you take, this is um, pink lemonade. I always just get lemonade, but might, that might have been all they had. So, we'll do the pink lemonade. Smells good. We're going to pour it in there, and we're going to stir it into, you know, this will make it thicken. You can already tell it's thickening some. See? Always taste of it. A little bit more.
if I was having company or something, I wouldn't taste of it, but there's nobody eating these but Mike and I. Get a bit more. I just don't want it real strong. Okay, I'm going to get my bowls, pie plates. It'll get hard more in the refrigerator. Okay. Them are full, aren't they? All right, what you do now, you see them. I'm going to take them and put them in the refrigerator. So that's basically your pad. You'll be able to just cut it and eat it. Thank you. Get back with you later. Well, I made this journey with you. We pray we'll see you in the wreck. Well, I made this journey with you. If you like my Papa's channel, Road Maps and Chaos, make sure to like and smash that subscribe button. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.